Okay, find the intersection point of the two circles. The first circle is on the line x equals negative 1. Okay, so it'll be x plus 1 squared plus y squared is 1. The second circle has radius 2. It's dotted because it's easy for me to draw. It should be solid, but it's not. Okay, this one here will be called, it's on this line over here, so it'll be called x minus 1 squared plus y squared is 1. So our job is to solve these two. I'm going to set them both equal to y. So this one, y squared is over here. Transpose this over here, it looks like this, okay? This goes over here. If it's positive, it'll become negative. Leave the y squared alone in the second one, it's over here. Transpose this, it'll become negative over here. It looks like this. Now these two equations are equal to y, so therefore these are equal to each other by the axiom of equality. Okay, because I have a negative and a negative, I don't like negatives. We're going to transpose this over here to make it positive. Take this negative, transpose it, and bring it over here and make it positive. Now I have fewer negatives to deal with. I'll have less chances of making a mistake. So let's expand this quantity. Leave the 1 alone, x squared. The product of the 2 is negative x, double it, square 1. 4 plus, expand, square x. x times 1 is x, double it, square 1. Okay, so my equation, notice my equal signs are all lined up. It's easy for me to follow. Both sides have an x squared. We can cancel them. Okay, so I'm collecting 4 and 1 makes 5. Okay, and over here, these two, okay, these two add to make 2. Okay, so now I have 4 and 1 is 5. I take this negative 2x and I bring it over here. Now I have 4x, the 5 I transpose it to the left side. Notice my equal signs are equal. I can see that my signs are changing. Collect like terms. Okay, divide by 4. So x takes on this value. Let's go back to the picture. So x is negative 3 quarters in two places over here. Now we have to find y. Okay. So I'll go back down and I'm going to substitute it in here. This is minus 3 quarters plus 1 plus y squared is 1. So I'm changed the 1 to 4 quarters. So this will equal a quarter plus y squared is 1. Okay, now I want to isolate the y squared. We have to go way over here. Okay, so a quarter squared is a sixteenth plus y squared is 1. Okay, I made it like this so I can add these. Transpose the negative 1 16. Left the y squares alone. I'm still equal, my equal signs are lined up. This becomes 15 over 16. So the length of y will be the square root of 15 over the square root of 16, which is 4. This means I have two values for y, positive and negative. Okay, so let's go up here. Okay, so this is going to be, it's less than 1. Okay, it's about here. So this is the square root of 15 over here, over 1, over 4. This one is the negative one. So these would be the order pair. This one goes over here, and this one goes over here. So these are the two points of intersection of the two circles. So there's a lot of nice algebra in there, and I hope you can follow that.